Hey what's going on guys, today I will show you how to use Lightbox on your WordPress website. Basically Lightbox is a must have feature for displaying images on a sliding view which looks something like that. And it's really very helpful especially when you have an image gallery and you want to show them one by one. Today we are gonna see how to use this Lightbox with a single image or an image gallery, a carousel, even you can also use this with videos. We will also learn how to customize the interface of the light box, like how can you turn on or off the features of the light box, changes the UI color, icon sizes and all and everything about that. And finally, we will see how we can add a light box with any kind of element of your page so that when you click on any element of your pages like a button or a heading, you can also able to show up a light box with that. So before jump into our topic, smash the like button and if you are new here, consider to hit the subscribe button. Alright, so here first of all we need to install a plugin called Elementor Pro. Basically Elementor Pro is a paid page builder which is used for creating your website. And if you are gonna looking for a best page builder plugin, I obviously recommend Elementor as the number one plugin for you. But in today's tutorial, we are going to not creating any pages. Today, we are going to focus on how to use this plugin for creating our light box. So here you can see I have installed both the Elementor and Elementor Pro plugin. Basically, Elementor is the free version of the Elementor Pro and we need to install both of them to make it work. So after installing and activating both of this plugin, if we go to our pages, and from here we want to create a new page by clicking this add new button and in this page i want to show you how can we use lightbox with different kind of element of our website so first of all i want to name this page as lightbox okay then i hit publish and right now instead of the default gutenberg editor we want to edit this page with the elementor editor so i click on this edit with elementor so here on the left side you can see here are a lot of widgets which we can use to build our pages. So here first of all I want to create an image gallery and want to attach the light box with that. So I search for the image gallery widget. Ok we select this gallery widget right here. And here is the option for adding some images for our gallery so I click on this. And here from the WordPress library, I want to add some images of this. Okay, create a new gallery. And here you can see, here is the option for setting the caption for each and every images. And if we click on any images, here you can see, here are some additional fields for each and every images, like setting the alter text, the title, the caption, and also the description. Okay, so right now I want to click on the insert gallery. You can see this image has successfully added to our image gallery but this images has shown here in low resolution so I want to set the image size from this option right here okay so I set this to full size all right right now it's okay and after that I want to set the gallery layout to the masonry layout from here Alright, you can see that looks really cool and better than the default layout. Okay, so right now if we click on any images of our gallery, you can see these images has shown on a lightbox view with all of its options. So you can navigate through these images by clicking on the next or the previous icon right here. And underneath of every images, you can see here is the text has come from the title of each images. Okay. So here also you can see the counter of each images. So when you navigate through our light box, you can see this number has changed according to the number of the slide. Okay. And after that on the top right corner, you can see here are several options for the light box. Like you can also make it to full screen. And also you can here escape the full screen right from clicking here. And after that, this is the zoom in and zoom out option. And if you want to share these images, here is also the option for that. You can also share this image through the Facebook or the Twitter and also Pinterest. And even also you can download this picture. Okay. 
so lastly here is the option for closing the slide box so if we go to the editing option of our image gallery right here you can see this is the option for link of the images right now it's set to the image file but if you set it to none and if we right now click on any images you can see this light box doesn't work so if you turn off the light box for your image gallery you can also set it from right here all right so right now if we click on any images you can see this is the default look of our light box but we can change that from our customization option so how can we change that so we need to go to the hamburger icon from here and go to the global settings and go to the light box tab from here and here is the customization option for this light box all right here first of all this is the option for enabling or disabling the light box so if you don't want this light box for your website you can also disable this right from this place and after that this is the option for the counter so if you don't want this counter on the left corner right here you can also turn it off from here and here also for the full screen the zooming and the sharing icons you can also turn it off right from these options and after that this is the option for the title so if you look over the text underneath this image this is the title of the each images but if we want to change that we can also do that by selecting this option right now it's title but you can also select as the altered text of the image and this is the description option right now here is no description but if we want to add a description and we want to add the image description for this light box okay so right now if we update and preview our page okay right now if we click on any images you can see this is the title of the image and this is the description of each images okay so after that this is the option for the background overlay color for this light box so if you want to change that we can also do that from here okay i choose this color and you can notice this is a solid background color but if we want to add some transparency for this color we can also set this from the transparency option for this color all right so after that this is the ui color you can see right now the ui color is white and we can see it properly so i want to set it to this black color okay and for also for the hover color i want to set it to black and if we want to set the title color to a separate color we can also set it from here and this is the option for the sizing of the icons i want to increase it a little bit and after that this is the option for changing the icon size of the navigation okay i want to set it to 30 i want to click update to save this okay right now if you preview our light box from our live page you can see this light box looks really cool so right here we have set the light box with our image gallery now i want to show you how can we set up a light box with a single image okay so if we scroll down you can see i have already created a section right here and on the left side of the section i have created some heading and the paragraph and the button and on the right side i want to add an image and want to add a light box with that so to create an image i go to the widget area and you can see this is the image widget for adding an image okay i drag it to this place and add an image from here i select this image okay first of all i want to add some border radius for this image so i give it from here and also want to add some box shadow i want to make its color more transparent and want to make the box shadow a little bit down and want to make it a little bit blurry okay we have designed our image and if we click on this image right now we can see nothing so to enable the light box if we go to the content tab here you can see the link option and from here choose the media file option and here the light box option appears keep it to the default one and if we click on the image right now you can see this light box also appears for this image which also looks very awesome 
so we have also added the light box with our image right now we will see how can we add a light box with a carousel okay so under this section i have also added some content and underneath this i want to add an image carousel so i search for the carousel widget okay i select this one this media carousel widget and here you can see here is the option for selecting each images for each of the slide so i want to select the images and i want to delete the fifth one okay from here first of all i don't want these dots so i go to this additional options and choose the pagination to none and i want to make it a little bit taller so i go to its height option and make it 360 pixel okay right now to enable the light box for this widget we need to go to the each item and from here choose the link option to media file and also set the media file option for each of your slides from here okay so right now if we click on any images you can see this nice light box also appears for this carousel so right here if we go to the style option for this media carousel widget from here you can see here is the option for the light box and from here you can also set the light box color specifically for this widget okay so if we open its light box and right now we can see our default set color from the global settings but we can also specifically set its color from here okay i want to select this red color okay and also you can set the ui color and the ui hover color from here okay right now if we close this and go to our other widget and open the light box you can see this color does not affect our default light box color so after that we will see how can we set a light box with a video so we have created this section before and we want to add a video right here so we drag this video widget in this place and you can see this is the default video i want to change its url okay so i want to make some border radius around that to 10 pixel and if we go to its content tab and from here go to the image overlay option if we turn this on you can see here is the option for choosing a custom thumbnail for this video so we can set the thumbnail from here i want to choose this image and insert gallery you can see this custom thumbnail but right now if you click on this our light box didn't appear so we need to check on this light box option from here and i want to adjust the image size a little bit so i go to the image size and set it to custom and i want to set the ratio to 550 by 360 pixel okay i click apply so right now if we click on this video you can see this nice light box also appears for these videos and if we go to its style option you can see here is also a light box option for this video and if we look at this option you can see you can also set the entrance animation for this video like if we want its animation to zoom in you can see this video appears with this zoom in entrance animation so right now if we play this video you can see this video is shown right above the light box okay i want to close this and here i want to show one last thing right here so how can we use the light box with any kind of element like i want to set this light box with this button so when user click on this button a light box will appear above the page so i click on this edit icon from here and here you can notice this is the option for setting the link of this button you can set the link for this button by typing the url in this field right here but right now i don't want to type anything in this place i want to go to this dynamic tag option from here and from here select the light box option and after that i want to click on the settings icon and from here you can select both the type of the video or an image light box if you want to add an image you can upload the image from here but i want to add a video so i want to paste the video url right here 
okay i paste this so right now if we click on this button you can see this video light box appears for this button widget okay and you can also do this with any kind of widget like if we want to set it with this header you can also set it from its link option as before and there are many other widgets which also have this link option and you can also set the right box with each of these widgets okay so right now i want to update my page and we preview our page we can see we have added the light box with our gallery and also for the single image and also for this button right here this is an video light box for this button and also we have set it the light box for our image carousel and lastly we have also added this for our video so we have played around with a lot of things and we have learned how can we use light box in wordpress if you think this tutorial helps you at least a little bit you can give a big thumbs up to this video which really inspired me to make more helpful content for you so thank you so much guys for watching this video, stay safe, stay happy, right now, bye bye.